Hey guys, welcome back. It's KB here. So, Microsoft has finally released a Windows 10 1903 publicly. Uh, I think they released it in May 21st. So, now on anyone can get the Windows 10 1903 ISO file or get the update and use the new Windows 10 1903's features. So, uh basically there are three ways to update to the windows 10 1903 the latest version also known as windows 10 2019 may update first way checking for update if you check for update you will get the windows 10 1903 update within here if you check for update that is the first way and second way by going into the official site of windows 10 where you can get the update you can see here windows 10 uh, May 2019 update is available if you click on this update now it will download the tool and then you can update your old version of Windows 10 to the newer version 1903 and the third one is the creating a Windows 10 installation media or getting a Windows 10 ISO file and then doing a fresh install or you just want to update as you know every time whenever we get the uh, new major update for the Windows 10 there will be a problem so uh, I recommend you guys to do a clean installation do not update Windows 10 1903 through uh, update tool or by checking the uh, for the update in Windows settings the safe way to update the Windows 10 to the Windows 10 1903 is by doing a clean installation that's my recommendation if you don't want to get into any trouble this is the only option uh, yeah because you know the history whenever we get the update there will be a problem so just to be safe back up your files data whatever you want to back up and then do a clean installation if you want to use the new windows 10 1903 or any other upcoming future updates always do the clean installation so for example if you don't know how to get the iso file or make a uh, you know a bootable usb drive i have made a lots of tutorial on it i will put link in the description you can go there and see how to download the iso file and then uh, create a bootable usb drive uh, you can actually create a bootable usb drive using the windows 10 installation media uh, you just have to click on download tool now like that and it will download the media creation tool by using this we can just download the ISO file or make a bootable USB drive so I'm just gonna open it and as you can see we have the Windows 10 setup getting a few things ready so it will check for your PC uh, specs whether your PC supports the Windows 10 1903 update or not so we just gonna wait and after that we have to accept the terms and conditions accept so in the next option it will say what do you want to do you want to upgrade this PC now or want to create a installation media so as I said if you upgrade your Windows 10 to the latest one using this tool or using update option in the windows settings it might cause a problem so my suggestion for you guys is to do a clean install if you don't want to get into any trouble so that means we are not going to use the first option click on second option uh, create installation media and click next and now uh, it will automatically detect the your pc specs and use the recommended settings but if you want to use the custom settings for the windows 10 iso file you can uncheck this option here you can select the what type of language you want to use and what type of uh, architecture you want to use 32 bit or 64 bit so my pc is 64 bit i'm just gonna use the 64 if you want to get the both you can get the both but the file size will be larger so i'm just gonna go with the 64 bit and i'm gonna hit next and here if you have a usb flash drive you can actually uh, create a bootable usb drive within uh, this software but if you want to save a iso file and then later on you want to create a bootable usb drive you can choose the iso file option so i always use the iso file option because um, i don't have to download the windows 10 again and again i can keep this iso file and uh, 
I can like later use it multiple times. Same for the USB flash drive, unless you format it. If you format your USB flash drive, your Windows 10 installation file will be gone. So the safe option is ISO file. It's up to you. If you just want to use the Windows 10 installation files just once, then yeah, use the first option. But if you want to keep the Windows 10 ISO file, use the ISO option, the second option and hit next and it will ask you where you want to save it so i'm just gonna save it to documents i guess windows 10 i'm i'm gonna rename it actually 1903 so that way i know that this is the latest windows 10. i'm gonna save it and here it will say getting a few things ready and now you can see windows 10 1903 is downloading so that's how you get the windows 10 1903 update uh, i don't recommend you guys to use the update because as i said it might cause the problem because every time you know you can look up the history of windows 10 major updates so you'll know everything so that's why my recommendation for you guys is to do a clean installation if you want to get a new version of windows 10 every time we have to do this but yeah if you like windows yeah there's no other way <laughs> like you know if you want to be safe you know do the clean installation every time you get a major update so that's what i'm gonna do and that's what i do always and that's it so if you don't know what's new in windows 10 1903 i have already made a video on it so you can watch that video from link in the description and uh, if you have a ISO file and you want to create a bootable USB drive, I have also made a video on it. You can watch that video from the link in the description. And what else we have? I think that's it. Uh, if you don't know how to install or how to do a clean install, you can ask your colleague, whoever knows a little bit about the PC and ins installing Windows. You know, I know someone will be there in your neighbor, you know, who knows. A PC stuff but it's not that complicated you can also do the Google search how to do the clean installation of Windows 10 and that way you can you know do some research and be safe before you do anything back up your files and data and yeah that's it but for God's sake please don't just update your Windows 10 to the latest one don't just do a clean installation for to be safe you know if you don't want to get into any trouble i say it again and again but this is really important that's why if you don't like windows 10 you can use another uh, operating system like linux everyone recommends that but if you're a gamer you know maybe you like some stuff in windows you should use windows because you know there is no other operating system like windows uh, in terms of softwares you know there are thousands millions of softwares uh, yeah that's it <laughs> that's it guys and uh, yeah I'm gonna download this ISO file and keep it so I'm gonna put some links in the description useful links you can go there and check them out and yeah one more time do a clean installation for every major update for the Windows 10 and before doing that back up your data files whatever you want to back up and then do a clean installation if you don't know how to do a clean installation then ask someone who knows about the pcs or do some google search do some research that's it we'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.